welcome back to my channel. For those of you who do not know, my name is Jasmine Barton Moore, and I am so excited for this video. As you read by the title, um, by the time you're watching this, I'm still working on it, but it's pretty much how to be an entrepreneur, how to go after your goals of being an entrepreneur, and pretty much what it takes to be an entrepreneur. So what I did is I took four women that I are that I believe are hard workers and they're all about entrepreneur and you know pursuing their goals and their business quick pause here y'all in honor of women's history month I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys four women um, you guys already know these videos were filmed a while ago so each Monday make sure you come back and check out four separate women here on my channel and take it all in make sure to check the description box for all of their details and the questionnaires and thumbs up and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one is actually my personal name so it's simone edwards um under simone edwards falls so the simone edwards show and um simone edwards photography and then also poetry and what do i do well i kind of summed it up i'm a radio host I'm, I'm a radio host, I'm a minister, and um, a poet and a photographer. So just really, really utilizing um, all of the artistic gifts that are on my plate at the moment. Question number two, advice for someone starting out. What I would say is you can do your research and that is definitely adequate, but start. That would be my advice, is to start. And then as you learn, as you go, never stop the process of learning. There's always something new to learn. Technology is developing at an incredibly rapid rate. And so there's always a better way to build the mousetrap. So um, never really pigeonhole yourself into thinking, I've done my research and I have this cornered. Research what you need to, of course, to find out, you know, is, is your business, um, how you can best utilize your business, but avoid the trap of other people are doing this, so I shouldn't do it. That's what I would say. Um, what is unique about my business? Question number three. I'm sorry, I'm totally screwing this up. I'm so glad you're gonna edit, I apologize. Um, what is unique? Question number three. Um, one of the things, so let me start with the radio show. One of the things I think that's unique about my show is we interview everyone from poets to politicians. And really the purpose of it is to give other people an opportunity to discuss what their art, business message is to the world. And what makes my show unique, two things. One, um, my focus is to give God the glory in it. And the purpose of the show is really to inspire and to encourage and to challenge other people to step out on faith and to do whatever it is that God is calling them to do. And then the other part that makes the show unique, and I hope that this encourages any entrepreneur out there, is that the uniqueness is me. There is no one else on the planet that's like me. And so because there's no one else like me, I bring my own uniqueness. Um, and so I would encourage those of you that are looking to venture out into whatever field of entrepreneurship, know that what you bring to the table, the set of skills that God has given you, your personality, your unique identifiers is what will make your business different. Um, how do I advertise my products and services? With the radio show, um, some we do some social media um and then just networking networking is a great way that i meet clients um going to networking events going to events that take place in the community and then just simple things like um honestly being led by the spirit of god you know i may go to the grocery store or the library or to the mall or to an event and i will meet someone and in talking to them I discovered that they are this incredible human being with an amazing story. And it's just like, I, I need you to be on the show. Let's get this done. Um, with the photography and with the poetry, with the poetry, some of it has now become word of mouth. Um, in the beginning, I would go to different venues, but now um, it, it's word of mouth and people are 
um, interested in my poetry. And so opportunities have opened up um, that way, but I still engage in doing the work as far as like putting out videos and or making sure that um, every opportunity that's presented to me that I walk through that open door because every opportunity brings exposure. With the photography, it's about the same thing. Um, people will come to me and say, um, hey, I saw your picture online and I want to work with you or I have a friend who recommended me to you. And so I want you to take my pictures or I want you to do my headshots. And so that's how opportunities come up for me. Going to the next question, question number five. How, um, inspiration, that is, that is a loaded question for me. Inspiration come in so many forms. It can come while I'm in prayer. It can come while I'm watching the news. It can come in conversation. Um, it can come having a quiet moment. It can come um, observing nature. There are so many ways that inspiration comes for me. And really what I'm listening for is for God's direction and for his leading as to what is my next. What is the next thing that I'm supposed to do? Um, for those who are watching this that may not have a relationship with God or may not believe in God, um, this may sound like mumbo jumbo to you, but for me, I know that a great deal of my success, actually I would say all of my success has been because I've been led by the Spirit of God and because He has opened doors for me and has put me in front of people that I would have not had the um, opportunity to be in front of had He not opened that door for me. So my inspiration really comes in, in a variety of ways. Mostly it's promptings from his spirit to go here, do that, take a look at this, consider this. That's where I receive my information, my inspiration. Um, question number six. Um, currently, currently, um, the one that I would say um, the most significant in my career would be um, releasing a spoken word CD, releasing my spoken word CD called Unbound. Um, that was really a step of faith. And I, one of the reasons why it's so significant is because I actually watch God open doors and provide opportunities for me um, in ways unimaginable and absolutely be, blew my mind. And people had been encouraging me for years to publish a book or do a CD or do something with your poetry. And um, I think my own reticence as to, are people really gonna be interested and do they really wanna hear what I have to say? Um, I had to overcome a lot of my own personal insecurities and make that step forward. But once I did, I was amazed at the doors that opened up. I was amazed at how God went before me and set provision in my path. I was amazed at how things came together quickly and seamlessly. And so to date, I really look at that project as a, um, as a reminder that when God says go, to just go and to know that he will open the doors and provide opportunities for me. And I believe that I have come to the end of the questions. So, um, Jasmine, thank you so much for this opportunity to share my journey as an entrepreneur, or um, I should say someone who's bivocational because I'm also an employee as well as an entrepreneur. And um, I, I definitely believe in keeping my day job. Um, I will not leave my day job until my entrepreneurship gives me a reason to leave my day job or on, you know, unless the Lord says differently. But um, Jasmine, thank you so much for the opportunity to share my thoughts. I hope that someone watching will find um, benefit and encouragement from it. I can't exactly find where my camera's located, so my eyes are dancing all over the place. <laughs> um, other than that, thank you again for the opportunity, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you so much.